Where am I? What's happening? here wait there's the lighthouse i'll be safe if i can make it there i hope please let me make it there Shit. That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Tortured, right? Plus, it's perfect for and my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Isn't that too easy? But I like it old school. What if Arbus chose I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kiss. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she? F of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. You have just by participating. By putting hmm. yourself this might make a cool shot. No matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I have my moment in the camera. Everybody should oh, have their hey. I only want to share Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I look yet. I was about to. You are Welcome look to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture, Jerry. I'm not paying What's the point of that Max wants everybody to see how cute she is? What's the point she plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that because it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant cat.
Kevin doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. It looks like she's been gone for months. sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foots. They do stomp. by the weird shit posted on the boards. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax, stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress, you you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. 
You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yeah, she likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From colors. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now, shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the human time condition machine. in black and white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. When I took children. my selfie, Jefferson you asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, frankly, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom well, quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows this? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's face. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. 
I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I have to get my education up. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come Don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wowzer, it's happening again. No, he has a gun. I should do tell something else. For this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass! I'm trying to control- Don't ever- I'm too scared to get near this psycho. I'm so Sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this. I than need a hammer to break it open. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job.
Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I remove? Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. No way. You can get him so busted. And he's not going to mess around with a student. That's what you think. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel.
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. Ugh. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Dude. Hey, Logan Robertson, all-American asshole. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Nice, bro. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Awesome. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything? Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Sweet. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. And he's not creepy, just X-Files weird. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only Not she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive nice. and negative. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prism? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Sweet. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. Okay. Oh shit, there's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Yeah. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, no. why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. 
I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. This rain sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Sweet. This rain sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Nice, bro. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the set. Okay, let's see if this works. No way! No fucking way! You okay, way. Victoria? Oh, Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie that was mean but pretty funny yeah. just one of those days you know i know exactly what you mean victoria i'll see you later au revoir oh, dude. victoria probably played Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Juliet, extreme reporter. This girl must have been popular. She's 
everywhere. Thanks for the warning. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. At least that's an alarm from this century. They live. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great, now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever.
Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. What am I doing out here? It's so stupid. Ah. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. At least she puts her photographs out there, unlike me. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. 
I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. This is both sad and pathetic. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. So fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha.
this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. You get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing it. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. <gasps> Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Mac. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Mac, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. 
Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should crew down in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, I bitch. told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Carfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Thank in the you. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's crazy! Nobody! Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd seen you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. 
I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit my step douche has a boatload of tools maybe you can fix it in my place i need very specific tiny tools bird alert my stepdad has a fully stocked garage and he actually is a tiny tool welcome home max Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. It won't play without any power. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. I think this junk swallowed her discs. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble.
Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn, Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student, when she cared. Snowdo, thanks. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. We had such a blast drawing these together. It won't play without any power. I'm not into them, too pretentious. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Can you let me chillax for a bit? Alone? The tools are still downstairs. Dark. I can't. 
cannot see anything. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy, of me. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Again, said Thomas Wolfe, but here I am. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa, apocalypse self-help. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Oh, Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Prices are late on their bills. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Joyce still works at the diner, and Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Nothing's changed, except for me and Chloe. Doesn't look like the Price family is lulling in dough these days. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Joyce still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. 
I better get one soon. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. I should be able to find the tools I need here. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. The tools might be in this cupboard. Shit! Butterfingers! A map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes! Score! Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. This is so lame. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see, the tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max, brilliant. Man, I should have done that before they fell.
You have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. I guess they're aging, these books. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered you. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> this song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, 
Break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? Open this door. This is going nowhere fast. I better look someplace else. Open the door. One, two, three. Shit. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You're tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Oh my 
my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. How long has that been here? You sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my stepped dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? You know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. I'd like to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Good thing you didn't look. He's a total surveillance fetish. Or are there spy cams in the house? Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so glazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it wasn't safe. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. The shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcady Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Why is 
still up there? I have to find out. like the dome is eating me. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Is this for me? October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. What's going on? He totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. We just saw it. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. 